Hello there. In this video I'm going to go through some of the basic options of the Well Profile module of HydroGeoAnalyst or HGA. You launch the Well Profile module from this button here. You can select the station you want to view data from from the station picker. For now we're going to close the project tree, but you can still see which station you are viewing here. Now let's create a new Well Profile template to show you the different column options available. Once you name the template, the editor portion will become available. Now you need to select the green plus to add a column to the template. The first one is pretty simple, a scale column. Next, let's add the lithology column. It is predefined to pull data from the lithology table. And of course the images that you're going to see here are based on your selections in the material specification editor. Now let's add the well construction column. This is another predefined column which pulls data from many of the tables that you will find within the well construction data category. Now let's review a few settings available. When you have selected the design branch you will find settings that apply to the entire template including default column options. You will also find the true vertical depth option here. When you set this option to yes, it will automatically calculate the true vertical depth for your angled or deviated borings based on the information you have stored in the drilling protocol table inclination field. When we select the scale branch, settings for this column will appear below. One option you might find useful is show elevation. If you set this to yes, it will display elevation values instead of depth values. Elevations will be based on the station table elevation field. One setting often requested for the lithology column, here you find the option to show or hide images. And right below it you will find the option to adjust the percentage of the column filled by the image. The well construction column has several settings as it shows data from several tables, so you have the option to show or hide the data from those tables. Also, here's the option to show or hide a scale within the column. Here are the settings for the casing. By default it uses idealized images, however you can switch it to use your own defined images, this is done in the list editor module, to be as creative and colorful as you like. Similar settings are available for the screen. The lithology setting allows you to decide which side of the well for it to be displayed. There are also several settings to display water levels within this column. Now let's take a look at another type of column, the depth column. This column is not predefined so provides you the flexibility to map it to any table or query in your project. Here for example we're going to show water levels in their own column by mapping to the water levels table and then selecting the depth to water level field. Then we will select the option to display a symbol and maybe turn off the text. Then we can adjust the symbol here to be completely blue, as well as maybe a bit bigger so it's easier to see. Like the depth column, you also have an interval column option. Again, this is not predefined, so you can map it to any table or query in your project. Now let's take a look at the plot column type. For this example, we're using the depth series type, and we're going to map this to the fluid resistivity table. Then we're going to select the depth and value fields from that table. And let's use red to display the data. Once the data is displayed, we can adjust the settings for the plot column. First, let's turn off the vertical axes to maximize the space. And then let's adjust the horizontal axes to make it easier to read by adjusting the major and the minor tick intervals. Once we're done creating the template, we can save it and then close the editor portion. Then open up the project tree and you can select different stations. The well profile will automatically update with the data based on the station selected within the station picker. You can make your templates as simple or as complicated as you need for your project. Here's an example from a project where 15 series were added to this plot column to show concentrations of chemicals of concern. Additionally, this column shows the orientation of fractures noted, and this column shows the condition of the fractures. Thank you for watching this video about HGA's Well Profile Module, Part 1, The Basics. Watch for Part 2, additional features coming soon.